it's fascinating to just watch what an airline is capable of doing here. And uh, we think of ourselves much more than just an airline. We think of ourselves as a consumer brand. But you do that by listening to customers, by paying attention to trends, and to knowing the types of things that are going on here and that, that are really early indicators of what the future is going to be about. Well, no one person is an airline. No one aspect of air travel is the totality of the experience. And when you really think about the difference between what you experience at an airport versus what you have on board a plane, or even digitally with the app or in our loyalty program with the SkyMiles program, all of those things are deep and rich and complex issues unto themselves, as is, by the way, maintenance of an aircraft before you ever get on it and the things like that. So I, I think this is a, a major enterprise. We carry 200 million people a year, uh, and for that, that reason with the complexity of what we deal with to ensure safety and operational reliability, let alone warm, friendly, gracious service. Uh, it's, a, it's a major undertaking and uh, the more the merrier, I think, when you have people who bring new ideas to the table and new innovation to help us better serve customers, we're all about it. Personalized signage is coming to an airport very soon, near you, thanks to the wonder of parallel reality. Now, you've heard of virtual reality, augmented reality, but what exactly is parallel reality? So parallel reality is a new display technology where many people looking at the same display at the same time can each see different things. They don't need to wear special glasses or look through smartphone camera lenses. They just look at the displays with their naked eyes, except each person looking at the same display can see different things. This brand new capability of parallel reality that really opens up the experience design space for public venues. It's literally the, the physical demonstration of hyper-local, right? I mean, it is you can go on a one-to-one -one basis, which was so overused 20 years ago, CRM and everything else, that you literally can employ that. But that's not different than really the interaction we're able to have with a customer in the mobile app or a host of the other things that we're showcasing here because the reality is if a customer sees value in that digital interaction they're willing to engage more deeply if what they get is resistance in the sense of this is a commercial uh, intent versus a genuine interest in serving me their their radar goes up and their resistance goes up and so I think what we're seeing is customer willingness to not only opt in for deeper levels of engagement and communication from us, but they see the evidence that when they do, we genuinely listen with an intent to do something about it. It's not like somebody asks you a maitre d', how was your dinner, right, and then they don't care. It's truly interesting uh, to hear what people are willing to share uh, with us and the level of depth and, and engagement when they know that what we're gonna do with it is try to make their experience better.